Tony Gabagool, Grandma. It's something with fat and nitrates. Gabagool. Face. Who is that? Who? That girl. Who, Meadow? Who is she? Is that Conchetta? That's your granddaughter. Meadow? All right, don't get impatient. I'm your mother. And Grandma, did you Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. So today I got a Reddit Online video for you guys, and um, sorry this is uploaded kind of late, but um, I've just been busy most of the day, and it's actually good that I kind of waited, because I wanted to see if the problem still exists even later in the, in the night, and apparently it still does. We're gonna check uh, check on that in a little bit, but um, normally I wasn't gonna, I don't think I was gonna, you know, really make a video on this, because, you know, Rockstar did what most of us were expecting, and what they did was basically another point pointless event month. No word whatsoever on the next DLC, even though people have been, you know, asking you for about, you know, two months at this point doing the save Reddit online hashtag, and Rockstar is, um, uh, completely ignoring it. Now, I still think, like I said before, I still think save Reddit online is good, and just because they're not responding doesn't mean that it's not having an effect, because the gaming media has talked about it repeatedly, and it also, you know, shows exactly what kind of company Rockstar is and Take-Two Interactive. And like I said before, don't harass the developers, but do post this message around, let people on Twitter know, you know, post it even on YouTube, just say save Reddit online and just say, you know, why you're unhappy with the game and, you know, why you're pissed off. Because we have good reason to be pissed off considering the fact that they've been ignoring the community for two months now. But anyways, um, not only did Rockstar give us a crappy event month, again, what they did also is that they had actually taken out Madame Nazar from the game. I am not joking on that, Madame Nazar is, is out of the game. Now the question is, is this intentional or is this a glitch? And what I mean by that is that Reddit Online has experienced a lot of glitches in the past, so I wouldn't be surprised if this is a glitch, but I also wouldn't be surprised if this is intentional, if they did this on purpose, because the face it, the majority of people, when they made a lot of money on this game, they made it from the collector role, because collector role, especially before even the collector role nerf, a lot of people have a lot of money from that, and even today, even with the collector role nerf, the collector maps still help out a lot especially the Jean Rupke map, and I will link his map down below. It's a map where you can see most of the collectibles in the game. Some of them are randomized locations, but you can find pretty much a majority of the collectibles and sell them for pretty good profits. Now, um, my prediction is what I think happened here is I think Rockstar has taken out um, or Madame Nazar intentionally. I don't think it's a glitch because I don't see how this could possibly be a glitch where, you know, a new event week somehow takes Madame Nazar out of the game. I don't see how that, you know, could possibly do that. Now, uh, this is doesn't mean that Madame Nazar is gone permanently. If Madame Nazar is gone permanently, this would make collector role useless for new players because new players wouldn't be able to buy the role from her. Um, they wouldn't be able to buy the um, uh, the shovel. They would not be able to buy the metal detector from her. So right now, you can still find items in the world, and you can sell them to the post office, because a lot of people forget that you can actually sell stuff to the post office. You don't have to go to Madame Nazar. But also, there's certain things that Madame Nazar sells. Um, I Trying to remember all of them because I don't just go to her a lot. I think she sells feathers also, which I think she's the only NPC that sells that. And she might sell some herbs. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong on that. But she sells some unique things. That's the point that I'm getting at. And without her being there in the world, new players can't get access to the role. And, um, uh, and they can't buy certain supplies from her. Now, um, uh, wh what I'll say is, the reason that I think this is intentional, at least in my opinion, and I, I don't have proof for this, this is just going on what I personally think, just letting everybody know, but the reason that I think this is intentional is because, face it, Rockstar is trying, if you're watching this video, you're probably a Reddit Online veteran like me. Maybe you didn't play the game since the day one, or maybe you did, or maybe you even played it for like a year. If you played this game for, you know, a decent amount of time, I'd say even for a few months, you probably have thousands of dollars saved up, and you have a decent amount of gold bars. Now, people like me, for instance, I don't even play this game every day. I play the game usually once or twice a week, and I have like over 180,000 something dollars. I have, I'm getting close to 200,000. I have over 600 gold bars. And so, basically, what Rockstar is doing with Reddit Online is they're doing a really cheap thing is um, they are trying to make the majority of their money from new players. Which, there's nothing wrong with trying to make uh, money from new players. The thing is, though, is a lot of other developers, what they do is the bulk of their money, at least in online, you know, from sales of the game itself, you know, a lot of it comes from people, you know, buy the game over time, obviously. But from the online, a lot of the revenue that companies get 
comes from, you know, veteran players of the game, people that play for some time whenever new DLCs come out, packs, you know, microtransactions, you know, people buy it because they like the game. I mean, just look at, for instance, Call of Duty. You know, I know it's not comparable to Reddit Online, but like, you know, they released the Battle Pass, people that play the game over time buy it, um, uh, people buy, you know, the packs, the operator skins, the gun skins, you know, that's pretty popular. And so they make a lot of money from veteran players on that. You know, people that just jump into the game are not as likely to buy the packs right away as people that play over time. But anyways, um, the reason they're trying to make so much money from the new players and they're just screwing over the, the veteran players is because the veteran players, they have no chance of making money from somebody like uh, me and you. Um, uh, and the reason for that is because we already have so much money saved up. Like, I, there's nothing else for me to really buy. The only thing I could really probably spend a decent amount of money on is the clothes. But I could still get all the clothes in the game and pretty much have like a good amount of money left. So there's really nothing else for me to buy. And instead of making something expensive to encourage people like me and you to buy, um, uh, they're just appealing to the newer players because the newer players barely have any money. And so what I think is, the th I think the purpose of this is I think that they are trying to remove the collector role so that they can nerf it in some other way. Because remember, they nerfed the collector map. They did that in the past where they randomized the jewelry. And so what they might be trying to do is they might be trying to avoid new players buying the collector role because they can't. new players can't use the collector role if they don't visit Madame Bazaar. They can't buy the metal detector to shovel the roll itself. And so they might be doing something to it to make people get even less money from it. So they're trying to monetize it even further on the new players. And I could be totally wrong on this. It could just be some glitch and Madame Nazar could come in, come back tomorrow. But that's at least how I feel because of just the things that Rockstar has done in the past. When they nerfed the collector map, they have um, nerfed the daily challenges that nobody had asked for. Um, uh, but, uh, you know, things like that. So they're, they're, and look at the last DLC that we had gotten. The actual last DLC was the Blood Money DLC, and Blood Money was geared really towards new players. You know, new, it was basically a thing for new players. That's pretty much what it was. So that's at least how I feel about the issue. Instead of Rockstar, you know, trying to, um, uh, you know, talk to the fans, trying to actually hear people's concerns, you know, they do dumb things like these event months. They don't ask for any kind of input. They don't um, uh, acknowledge the Save Reddit Online thing. And they don't even have to technically acknowledge Save Reddit Online, but just say that, you know, we understand that a lot of you guys are unhappy and we promise you guys good DLCs to come. And, you know, the people that I see defending Rockstar and say, you know, what are you guys complaining about? Reddit Online will get bigger DLCs. All they have to do is just make one Newswire post. They don't even have to show pictures or even a trailer. But just make a Newswire post with a few paragraphs saying that we hear the community and we promise you guys big updates coming. That's it. Is that really that hard for the developer to do? But instead, you know, the game doesn't make them as much money as other games like GT Online. And so they just keep neglecting it over time. And every single time they do stuff like this with the Madame Nazar thing, they're killing their game even more because less and less people are playing. You know, I haven't seen a developer, you know, try to kill their game as fast as this in a long time. But, you know, I'm not even going to read you guys, you know, the whole event thing because it's just, you know, it's just... You know, it means the purpose of this video is really to talk about Madame Nazar, but it's I'm not even excited for this. You know, new players can head to roads and kickstart their vigilante career with five gold bars off bounty hunter licenses. Oh, yay, wonderful. You know, um, once uh, documented, all hunters will be paid out two times rather than online money and XP and regular bounties picked up from a bounty board. Okay, you know, it's a nice, um, uh, you know, it's a nice um, event, but like legendary and infamous bounties are also paying three times rather than online um, money and XP all month long. You know, what's the point of this? You know, three times money. Okay, you know, I'm not denying that it's good to help, you know, get cash. And if you're a new player, you know, do this because it'll make you money. I'm not denying that. But, you know, how is this supposed to help me? I almost have $200,000 in this game. I know people that have over a million dollars on this game. You know, literally, literally, we have so much money in this game, but there's nothing to spend money on. You know, <laughs> you know that, that, that's what people are, are, are pissed about. And look, I don't want to sound negative all the time because I, I read I read the comments you know I do you know a lot of other youtubers you know I don't know if they read their comments but I try to read as many comments as I can on a lot of my videos my playthroughs and everything like that and I try to respond to where I can and I read a lot of the, your guys' comments and um, uh, you know I've seen comments of people saying that you know I'm always negative about this game or that I'm complaining look I don't take personal pleasure in like you know making videos like this like you know I I would much rather do a video talking about a new DLC and reacting to a new DLC. Like, you know, just be having a making a fun video, reacting to a new DLC. But the thing is, ask yourself, is there anything positive for me to say about this game at this point? I like this game. I like the core gameplay. I enjoy the game. Don't get me wrong. And I know I made a bunch of videos about this, but like I said, I wasn't even planning on making a video about this event month. Maybe I was just going to post a thing on Twitter and just say, wow, another stupid event month. But um, the whole Madame Nazar disappearing thing, that's, you know, that just, you know, pissed me off. 
and you know it's just look look at this this, this event goes on until april 4th and when april 4th rolls around we're probably gonna have another event month you know coming up and you know is the next dlc gonna be bigger than gta online's dlc i doubt it but you know that's just it but anyways let me show you guys reddit online really quick so uh just so you guys can see my time uh, it's 11 29 p.m and by the time i upload this is probably gonna be like in around close to like 45 minutes after um uh you know, uh, uh, after I, I'm going to upload this, like, around probably 45 minutes of editing and just, you know, posting it um, uh, to YouTube. But anyways, it's 11.30 p.m. Central Time. That's where I am in, in the U.S. And so I'm on Red Dead Redemption 2 right now. And um, as you guys can see, I'm at the post office. And um, let's see right like here. Um, got a little bit of an echo. Sorry for that. Um, uh, but, uh, you can, you can sell these, so you can still sell the, um, uh, the stuff, and you can split. find the collectibles, so it's there, it's the, um, uh, the wildflowers, I just sold that, and I have a lot of sets here, and if you're wondering why I have so many ridiculous sets, the reason is because I was waiting for, like, a, a double money event, just so that I could sell everything here, and, I'm, and my goal is to get 10 of everything, so I, I gotta stock up on some of these, because they're randomized, but, um, uh, it, I'm not even doing that really from a money like, you know, just for the money, but I wanted to do it for a video, just to see, you know, how much double, like, collecting would pay off on everything 10, but that was what I was planning, like, a big sale, but, um, let's go to where Madame Nazar's location is right now, let me show you guys that right now, so right here, we have, um, Madame Nazar dot, um, uh, IO, and this is, like, um, a website that will tell you where Madame Nazar is, and it says, in Roanoke Ridge, in the region of Ambarino, in the northeast side of the map, nearby Ansberg and Brandywine um, Drop. And so, you guys see, this is the marker that they have right now. This is all the possible locations that Madame Nazar um, can be at. And I'll link this website down below if you guys want to check this out. Um, uh, but uh, let me show you guys now in the game here. So, you guys see 11.35 p.m. today. And look, I am in that same place where they said that Madame Nazar would be and she is not here. And now some people might say, oh, maybe I'm not too close to her or anything like that. But even when you're um, it, even a, a good distance away, you can usually hear kind of like the music, the piano-like music that's coming from her like, little caravan. And so none of that's here. She's gone. She is not here. And we have this um, uh, a, uh, HTR hold to reset. Where is Madame Nazar today in Red Dead Redemption 2? And updated March 1st. Madame Nazar location today, missing, <laughs> missing, um, uh, that was probably a weird post to make there, but that was that, and I wanted to check Rockstar's Twitter, you know, to see if there was anything on this whole Madame Nazar situation, and there isn't, instead they just post this, you know, uh, bounty hunting rewards, three times payouts, just that, there is no, um, uh, no information whatsoever on the Madame Nazar thing, nothing. And I was thinking, okay, maybe if Rockstar won't post it, maybe they'll post something on their support page. Maybe it'll be there, right? But support page does not have it either. Rockstar support does not have it either. You'd think that they'd make some kind of post just to reassure people, say, don't worry, you know, Madame Nazar, it was just an accident. We are going to bring her back tomorrow or whatever. Um, she was accidentally taken out of the game just to reassure people, but no, that's not there. Um, uh, there's no kind of confirmation on this. And the last time they talked about an issue was December 17th. Um, they talked about, you know, the GTA Trilogy update February 28th, but the last time they talked about an issue in a game, and that was, of course, in GTA Online, they didn't mention anything about Red Dead Redemption, Red Dead Online, um, they just talked about, um, uh, you know, glitch uh, agency computer problem. That's it. So um, this leads me to believe with them just not talking about this, that this is possibly intentional. I don't know 100%. Maybe it'll be back. You know, maybe she'll be back tomorrow or the next day or maybe even later today. But um, uh, I'm just, you know, disappointed in Rockstar. And like I said, I, I don't want to make these videos to be negative all the time. That's not my intention. I hope you guys don't feel that way. But like, I just want to talk about this and bring attention at least to the subject and just, you know, say I'm, I'm passionate about this game, which I am. And I know there's other people that agree with me that watch this video. But, you know, I, I was really hoping, you know, that I'd be able to do Reddit online content for years to come because I was really excited to expand my channel into Reddit online content and um, uh, when it first came out. But, you know, I never imagined that it would be just abandoned like this, like it is now. So, you know, we'll see. Um, uh, we'll see what happens, if there's even any kind of update. Let me know what you guys think about this situation. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone.